To hear Miami fans tell it, you'd think they were the basketball equivalent of the Holy Trinity. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh, who tonight took the court in their first home game as Miami Heat teammates. This time, they lived up to the hype. The home team won 96-70. to and that's sure to stoke the massive move in Miami to cash in on one of the splashiest rosters in pro sports today. Matt Gutman has our report. There's the game. James knocks down another perimeter shot. Alley up to Wade! And then there are the LeBronomics, loosely defined as the money, glitch, and celebrity accompanied by the arrival of the king. At forward from Akron, Ohio, number six. LeBron James. Tonight, Miami officially anointed its three kings. Your Miami Heat. But as we learned, they now reign over a domain much larger than this arena. Now you're also beginning to see the people that want to be seen at the games and also part of the Miami scene. That includes businessmen, very high profile businessmen, and other people in the sports and entertainment industry. And of course, the rappers always want to be the athletes, and the athletes always want to be the rappers. Katrina Campins is one of Miami's real estate mavens. She courts celebrity to attract clients because so much of her business is done not in boardrooms, but at clubs like this. How much does a house like this go for? About six million. And of late, this house has attracted potential buyers like baseball's Alex Rodriguez and boxing's Floyd Mayweather. In a down economy, Katrina Campen says Miami's picked up. I've had many sales recently that have been indirectly related to LeBron, Wade, and Bosch. Now, those buyers are not going to tell you that they're related because they're also in the music or sports industry and the ego is not going to, you know, interfere. But I know why they want to be here. And it's because it's almost like the L.A. Lakers. Now you need to be seen at the Miami Heat games. James is going down today. Indeed, season tickets sold out the day LeBron announced that he'd go to Miami. Luxury property has actually done better than most of the other properties in South Florida. Some people credit LeBron, some people don't. I think it may be a self-fulfilling prophecy, if you will. Huh. So it's not necessarily about LeBron actually changing things, but about people thinking that LeBron is changing things. Absolutely. Isn't that like everything in life? Which brings us to perception. Before we continue, I just need people to see your shoes. <laughs> My shoes? Yes, this, this is a... And I am tall, yeah. by the way. I'm 5'10", and I'm wearing heels. And by the way, who wears boots in Miami, actually? You see, it really is about excess. From the Big Three's glittery preseason debut... <laughs> Should I try acting? He's got to deal with the heat, man. To the way they're being marketed. Should I be writing this down? Uh-huh. As much cultural icons as athletes. That's all I did. In fact, in their first media day here on Monday, they were besieged by cameras. It seemed all the players could do to keep expectations in check. Do we want to play well? Of course. Uh, will we be perfect? No. But they're just so marketable, as the Heat's Michael McCullough has learned. Obviously, this is unprecedented. There's never been a case where three superstars of this magnitude have decided to play on the same team. He's the team's executive vice president and a 25-year vet of the NBA. In the 30 days after LeBron made his decision, we sold more merchandise here in uh, Heat.com and our website than we did in the entire 30 days after we won the championship. The Miami Heat, they've done it! That's the only championship the team has ever won back in 2006. And McCullough's quick to add that all these sales came even before the organization had stitched a single LeBron jersey. In fact, there's so much hype that one of the owners has had 20,000 t-shirts made just to commemorate this game. <laughs> From those hawking the LeBron burger to the Bosch Berry Martini to the LeBron Lemon Drop, everybody in this town is finding their angle to capitalize on the big three. Come on in, I'd like to welcome you to the Heat Suite. Thank you. Yes, you heard right, that's the Heat Suite, offered by the posh Gansevoort Hotel on Miami Beach. And then right over here, we have some LeBron's favorite drinks. We have the Powerade, we have the Sprite. So how does Roy Crane know? Because his PR people talk to LeBron's PR people. And it's been very popular. We get a lot of inquiries about that. But you haven't actually sold one yet. We haven't sold one yet. However, I know that over the next you know, six months, we're going to sell this thing several times. There's been a lot of inquiries about it. There's too many inquiries about it for it not to sell. The suite comes with this portrait of its patron saints, that iPod featuring LeBron's favorite musicians, Jay-Z and Beyonce, and... Is our wonderful 
red Ferrari Spider. It's a fantastic car. Everyone's going to love it. You're going to want to be seen in it. And you know what, Matt? Why don't you take it for a ride? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> this is what $2,500 a day will get you. In fact, driving through town, you notice the big three and chiefly LeBron are inescapable. And folks here really do expect revenue to roll in as a result. The nightlife loves these guys. They're out every night. They're at every club. Uh, they're popping bottles. They're having, you know, they're having a great time. They're celebrating every day. Nathan Lieberman owns the South Beach Group. He's got nine hotels, most of them here on Miami Beach's iconic Collins Ave. He says bookings are already up, but adds the real beauty of it all is that even if the team had lost, the party would continue. We always win. Even if we lose the game, you're in South Beach. I'm Matt Gutman for Nightline, Miami. Well, win or lose, it sounds like a nice place to call home. Up next, Halloween costumes as a barometer of the culture at large. We take a look at what are sure to be some of this year's most.